So I am going to go through and um, show you how to get a table of values on the TI Inspire. So first thing, turn on your calculator and wait for it to load. Once you're the calculator is turned on, you fr from the home screen, the little house button, you want to select new document. If it asks you to save, just say no, unless it's something you really want to save. Then you're going to select a graphs page. And down here in the F1 of X spot, you're going to type in whatever function that you want to get. And we're just going to keep it really simple for this demo. You're going to, I'm just going to use x squared. So I'm going to type in x squared, hit enter to graph, and here's my graph. Now to get the table, from here you're going to hit menu. And as you can see down here, it says table. You're going to choose split screen table, and you will have your table pop up. Now, however, for the purpose of the limits, we do need the values that are really, really close to a certain value. So let's say I want to look really, really close at x equals 2. Yes, we can see that when x equals 2, the value of the function is 4, and we can also see it from the graph. But if I wanted to see the super, super close values from the left and the right, you have to change your table settings. So make sure that you have selected the table. So that means you can see that your cursor is in the table feature. From here, you're going to hit Menu, Table, Edit Table Settings. And you'll see that it says Table Start. Well, we want to look at 2. So I would recommend that you start at 2. <laughs> and the Table Step, that means what is going to be your change of x values. I would recommend doing something fairly small, something like 0.001. If you want to get more accurate, you can go ahead and put in more zeros. Then go ahead and press OK. And if you scroll up, you can see here's x equals 2. And as you're coming from the left, the y values are getting very close to 4. And as you're coming from the right, the y values are also becoming very close to 4. So then we could say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is 4.